Hello everyone. In the previous module, we covered tuning the fuzzy logic controller. And as we can see here, we got a good response from our fuzzy logic controller. We can see that the gains have been tuned, the membership functions have been tuned, the rules have been tuned, and we have a decent response. So now what we are going to look to do is to see if this controller will work on the actual system. So the first thing we need to do is set up our segment file, which means that what we're going to do is we're going to remove everything here other than the fuzzy controller. And what we are instead going to do is put our target configurations here. And we're going to call this set point. We're going to call this process variable. And we're going to call this controller output and we are going to save this as tutorial one seg you don't have to do that but that's just a convention okay and now what we're going to do is we are going to connect to our target and uh, load this fuzzy controller onto the XCM. So what we're gonna do here is once again, we're going to make sure that our serial port is the right one, as we covered in the first module, and we're going to connect to target. And here on this first uh, segment, we're going to put tutorial one, and we need to make sure the execution interval here is the same that we have for our fuzzy controller. We're going to load our staging buffer and we're going to program segment. And here we can see that now over here in the description, it says tutorial one. So that's our controller. We next need to go to controller testing and we're going to go to active controller monitoring. And we're going to go to segment one where tutorial one is. And we're going to put our, uh, input and output modules here correctly and then we are going to run controller test It looks like our controller is doing well, following the set point well. So I'm using the potentiometer now to generate the, uh, the set point, and we can see here that it works quite well. So now what we'll do is we'll take the bike brake that I mentioned at the beginning and use it to disturb the process. So you can see there that the uh, controller is able to control things quite well, even with a disturbance. And now at a lower speed, I'm going to give an even bigger uh, disturbance. Using my hand, I'm going to grab the motor. And you can see there that the controller is able to handle that disturbance quite well. So um, it looks like this is a fairly robust controller that works well across the entire span of the of what it's supposed to work over the entire span of the uh, 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 the entire range of the process. So um, yeah. Okay, that concludes our tutorial of how to use EDEX3. Um, if you have any further questions or are interested in working with us, please feel free to reach out using our contact form on Zira.ca. Thank you.